Hey, this is Ari from Wombrod and I'm blowing it up in Capital Chaos. And now, uh, do you, uh, now you did a, a, a Yeah, Yeah, Yes cover, right? Yeah, yeah right. Do you uh, plan on doing any other covers? Um, in the near future? In the near future. If, if you're talking about album-wise recording for a cover, for the new album, the upcoming album, which we are releasing on the 3rd May, there won't be any covers because we, we can't think of any yet. Right. Uh, usually covers are handled by my guitarist, Rashid. Um, he's the one who chose Yeah Yeah Yeah. Really? Okay. Uh, I've never heard of Yeah 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 before until he oh mentioned it to me and I kind of cool we kind of turn it to grindcore. Sure. Yeah, it, it, it went smooth actually. Cool. Yeah, it's a good song. Now, uh, is the government uh, pretty supportive of the arts in Singapore? Yeah, we, they are actually. They are, but I'm sure, I'm sure there's boundaries so, and you have art, um, those we actually have freedom of speech corner. You, so, you do yeah, have freedom of speech, or you yeah, don't? Yeah, but we have to go through a lot of process on getting um, to get that kind of area for you to talk your heart out. See, um, and that's that's actually art festivals and uh, music festivals and all that. The government are supportive. Oh wow! That. But there's definitely a boundaries. So definitely, it's like. If you're talking about those uh, punk scenes want to do a huge fest, I'm sure there's a lot of commotion. I don't think the government will be happy about that. I see. So that's why we are keeping it punk scene very small and very, you know. So are you, uh, are you uh, much of a sports enthusiast? Do you care for cricket or ping pong or any uh, other good uh, stuff? Oh, Badminton man. or? I, I used to play soccer when I was like um, 12. Um, 15 and all that, but now I don't have any time to play soccer right. we are, because we are busy touring, recording new stuff. Um, I'm actually doing a freelance artwork for bands, cover arts, so I don't think there's um, no room for sports. Sure, yeah. no, I understand completely. Now, uh, now are you, do you speak Tamil or uh, is it Malay? Uh, Malay. Malay. Malay, yeah. Malay. And uh, do they, uh, now, do, they, do people smoke marijuana? In, um, is that um, is it accepted or is it no, considered to be a, no. a, a bad drug, yeah. bad lifestyle? Marijuana is actually banned. It's banned in Singapore um, because I don't know why it's banned, but uh, I don't know, man. But sometimes there are smokers in Singapore, but it's kind of risky for us to smoke because um, every time we are on tour, if we smoke on tour and when we come back at the airport, there might be some random urine check at the airport. Oh wow. So it's kind of risky. We might get jailed for like two years, months, two years. All right. I don't know, man. But yeah. urine tests, huh? Yep, a random one. That's oh, the wow. risky thing. That's why we yeah. are not smoking. No, I agree. Yeah. And uh, like profanity, using profanity, uh, right. like uh, like saying words like fuck and shit like that. Yeah. That's that's also not, 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 uh, tolerated in um, your society. Right? I'm sure it's not tolerated, but it's kind of like our lifestyle in Singapore. Uh, when we chill out with friends, we do vulgarize our our our, our uh, how you say the language, language and, whatnot. and all that. Um, yeah, that's no big deal in uh, vulgars in Singapore. Everyone uses it, even in Malay, Chinese, Indian. We still use buggles. There's no harm about it. Yeah. Huh, okay. So I know there was a band, uh, there's a band from here called, uh, what are they called? They're from San Francisco, Conquest for Death. Are you familiar with them? They actually came to Singapore, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they, they've done all the uh, Asian countries. Yeah, cool. And I know that uh, I had posted a clip of theirs on YouTube and it, it asked me to take it down because they, they used profanity. Really? And they thought, they, they said that uh, it may hinder them, having them using profanity on a video may hinder them in the future getting into some of the East, the Asian countries. Well, not Singapore, I guess. But maybe not yeah, there. Maybe not Singapore, maybe like Indonesia or Malaysia. Sure. I don't know, man. Yeah. The Philippines or something. Yeah, Philippines. Uh, now, um, uh, what are your, uh, your main inspirations on your new, uh, on your new album? 
their main own inspirations. Yeah, like musical inspirations. I mean, what are you? What is an inspiration for you at the moment, musical? Musically. Right. Or are uh, you, you mean lyrics wise? Or well, music wise. What music is it? Wise. What, what are you? What's? What are you tapping your toe to nowadays? Oh man. Nowadays I'm tapping my toes to like hip hop bands and um, R&Bs. Um, but that's def definitely not related to upcoming album. Right. But yeah, um, we kind of don't stick with only grindcore. We kind of listen to deathcore, metalcore, indie, and all that. Okay. We try to. Hmm, that's a good kind of tune. So we kind of like. Hmm, does it fit in grindcore? We will make it fit. So, sure. Yeah. There's modifications here and there. Uh, indie, R&B, metalcore, and all that stuff. We kind of blend in, fusion it together. Right. Yeah. right. It's kind of interesting. Unorthodox, for sure. Um, are you? Uh, do you like when the metal core? Is there any U.S. metal cores you dig? A uh, band you dig like uh, like Through the Eyes of the Dead or um, Black Dolly Murder or any of that stuff? Black Dolly is awesome. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I am. Frankly, I'm not a fan. Not really a fan of metal core or death core. My drama is actually. Uh, so we kind of mix. I'm I'm a I'm a fan of grindcore and power violence. He's a fan of deathcore, metalcore, and my guitarist is a fan of indie, uh, pop, pop rock, and all that. So we kind of like, you know, fusion it in in one rock. So great. And uh, now, was it uh, this weekend you played the Science Fest, right? Yeah, we did. With uh, Morbid Angel and uh, who Musical else played ways, that? Municipal Ways, uh, Obituary, oh, Death yeah, yeah, Angel. Yeah. Uh, Black Breath, ton, tons of great bands. All oh, right, I, I think Agalock played. Yeah, fucking killer. Man. Yeah, good show, good turnout, good good time all around. Yeah, we we are the first band to play, the first uh, the first band, first tent. So it's kind of overwhelming. People keep coming. Um, what they are loitering outside of the tent to right. wait for us. Um, when we get up on stage and everybody was like, yeah, thank you for coming and all that shit. It was a great experience, man. It was a free show too, right? It was a free show. Man, free show. what a beautiful thing. So what's next after uh, you're doing this little tour here in uh, America? You're going right. to go finish up the record or? Um, the record? We, we actually finished up the record already. Okay. We're, we're just waiting for the release, which is 3rd May through, right. e through Eric Records. Um, but after the tour, we'll be having our mini Asia tour wow. and after that Europe tour. That is the, the the release of the new album tour, which is in Europe. Yeah, looking forward for that. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, man. Fucking busy. Good for you, good for you, good for us. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Cheers.